protection of your law, we only recognize the law of the individual conscience! Yeah! yeah! Just arrest her for me. She deliberately attacked me. All right, break it up. Hennessy on remand. Here are the papers. Right. Let me. Andrea Jane Hennessy, you are charged with common assault. Resisting arrest, assaulting a police officer, indecent language and willful damage. You'll be held on remand pending a hearing to answer these charges. <coughs> Is that a fact? <laughs> Let me right. go! I've got a... I've Good got luck. a... Right. I can I still... stand. Miss Hennessy, I am Mrs Davidson, Governor of Wentworth. Well, I don't acknowledge you or Wentworth. I am a political prisoner fighting a war against social injustice and I demand to be treated as such. <laughs> Nevertheless, you have broken the law and you are an inmate in here. It would help us both if your stay here could be as peaceful as possible. <laughs> I'm sure it would. That will be enough. I will not be patronised by a reactionary fascist pig like you. A little time in here will no doubt mellow your <laughs> attitude. We shall meet again. I can hardly wait. Fingerprints, right? Forget it! Have you got it? Yes. Right. Now you're on my territory. That is your bed. You're expected to make it and keep this room tidy at all times. You will remain in here until the bell goes for evening meal. Any questions? To hear is to obey, O oh, lackey of the law. I'm Judy Bryant. We're going to be sharing in here. It's not much, but it's home. You're Andrea Hennessy, right? So? So. Hey, I, uh, I, I saw you out in reception coming on with that heavy political stuff. I thought you had a lot of guts to stand up today by the way you did. Listen, guts have got nothing to do with it. I don't belong in here. No, we all feel like that sometimes. Our demonstration was meant as a show of intellectual strength, not military force. Intellectual, is it? Well, kid, whatever turns you on. Listen, don't be flippant. This is war. Anyway, now that I'm here, maybe I can persuade some of the more brighter ones amongst you to resist the pressures of an immoral legal code. Oh. So you want to help us, is that it? Oh, of course I want to help you. Thank you. You can help me by getting off my bed. Well, I'm quite comfortable here. I'm very happy for you, but you see, this is my bed here. I'm very attached to it. You know, possession is nine-tenths of the law. Is it? Make your bed. Okay, I'll look after this. I'll just see that she cleans it up. Yeah. 
You know, we can't go on meeting like this. Oh, we're going to see a lot of each other if you keep this up. Now, pick that slop up. Certainly. You rotten little brick. Ah! You sadistic bitch, now we know how you really were! Now that's the one I owed you. This one's for now. Ah! What, Bee? She's mixing it all up. I spent ages washing that stuff. Well, I didn't ask for the job. You're a spoiled brat, Hennessy. Suppose you had maids to do all that for you, did you? Oh, so what if I did? You lot are only fit for menial labour. <laughs> you don't have half a brain between you. Well, that does it. You try it and I'll scream for help. Well, that might just be worth it. Hey, girls? Yeah. What's all this noise about? It's just a friendly argument. Well, get back to work or you'll all lose your privileges. Hennessy, you come with me. We'll find something else for you to do. Yes, Miss Barry. Look, Judy, I am fighting for true freedom. Oh, your yes. freedom. Look, all over the world, freedom fighters are being outlawed by the establishment. Now, if you can't accept it, at least try and understand. The only thing I understand is that you are trouble. There are plenty of other people in here, victims of the establishment, as you put it. You've had more chances than anyone else has ever dreamed of. And you're asking me to feel sorry for you? You're nothing but a spoiled brat on an ego trip, and I don't want any part of it. Get on me, Get on me! And how are you feeling? How do you think? She tries to kill me and they put us in the same room. Well, I'm afraid that can't be helped. But I can afford a private ward. Maybe so. But the department can't afford two officers to look after the both of you. You're very lucky to be here, actually. Mr. Fletcher wants you both brought back to Wentworth. It was only the possibility of shock setting in that made the doctor decide to keep you in overnight. But she attacked me. I mean, surely I've got some rights. The only right that you have is to proper medical attention, and that is what you're getting. Listen, listen to me. Listen to you? I've done that for the past two years. We thought you were God, a real leader. Me and Ricky risked everything for you and we lost. I cared about Ricky, same as you, but it wasn't my fault. You were just victims of the system. That's right. Some more than others. But don't do it, Linda. She's not worth it. Oh, please, Mrs. Morris, help me. She's going to kill me. No, she's not. Are you, Linda? Listen, Lynn. Look, my folks have got a lot of money, and we could get you a good lawyer. Yes. And... A week ago, you wouldn't have touched your old man's money with a badge pole. It wasn't good enough to buy you a lawyer. We had to kidnap the governor to save you. Well, well things are different. Oh, of course they are. We got some good publicity out of that for a while. Till things went wrong. What were you doing? You were making plans with the screws to save your own neck. But it was just a story put around so there wouldn't be any reprisals from the women. Oh, God! It. It's true, Linda. <laughs> Would she hang herself over your bed? One of her own. Maybe she was trying to tell us something. Murder or suicide, someone was responsible. Look, just shut up and leave me alone. of your troublemaking. Let's go and see the governor. The rest of you, sit down and behave yourselves. Her fight in the rec room, it would appear the other prisoners were beating up Hennessy. 
What for, Hennessy? Well, I don't know. They didn't have to have a reason. Look, I demand some protection. Now, they have been after me from the minute I got in here. Well, I know damn well why they bash you up, and so do you. They hate you because of what you did to Linda. So does her father. What are you talking about? Mr. Goldman came to see Linda this afternoon before she died. But she refused to see him. It broke his heart. He said she was a perfectly normal, loving daughter until she met you. He said that you destroyed her for your own self-satisfaction. I am sick to death with hearing about poor little Linda. Now, she knew what she was getting into, and she wanted to fight for the poor, suffering underdog. But the poor, bloody little fool couldn't understand that they are only underdogs because they don't have the guts or the brains to get out from underneath. Come on, I think you've said enough, Hennessy. Look, I demand my rights. Now, I want to be moved to another prison. I'm not safe from the staff here. Let I said prisoners. that's enough. Now, you won't be transferred, but you will be moved to E-Block for your own protection. Mrs. Powell, take her to a cell while she packs the things, then move her to E-Block. Oh, it'll be a pleasure. Come on. 